welcome back to the English class. Today we're going to talk about verb and noun collocations and we've got the uh, I only had 20 pound note. First we're going to listen to the uh, conversation between Tom and Emma and then we'll answer the questions with true or false. Let's listen to the conversation. Tom and Emma are meeting at Tower Bridge. Tom is late. I'm really sorry I'm late. We said half past ten at Tower Bridge. What happened? It's a long story. Did you miss the bus? Well, I left the house two hours ago at 9.15. But Mum saw my dirty breakfast things and called me back. She was really angry. So I went back, did the washing up and ran to the bus stop. I got there. And can you believe it? I didn't have my bus pass. I only had a £20 note and the bus driver didn't have change. So I went to a shop, bought some chocolate and got change. Then I waited 20 minutes for the next bus. Never mind. You're here now. Can I have some chocolate? Sorry. I ate it all on the bus. I was hungry after all that running. Huh. What about me? I'm hungry after all that waiting. Okay, I guess you understood the uh, main point of the uh, conversation. Now let's answer the questions. Or, uh, in fact, let's put true or false to the statements. The first one. Tom didn't leave home in time. Is that true or false? It's false. The second. Tom didn't listen to his mom. That's false. The third one. Tom tried to buy a bus ticket from the drive. That's true. The fourth. Tom didn't get the first bus. That's true too. And the last one. Emma is annoyed because she wanted some chocolate. That's true also. Let's continue with verb and noun collocations. Uh, collocations are two words that are used commonly together in English. There are different kind of collocations and some of the most used collocations are verb plus noun. For example, to make the bed, this is one of. I make the bed every morning, that's in a sentence. Or to do homework, I do my homework every evening. Now we will have some exercises with verb plus noun collocation. You have the verbs on the box, white one. Uh, the verbs are do, have, lose, make, miss and tell. So let's put the verbs in each gap in the sentences down below. The first one is already done. It's I always tell the truth. I never tell lies, but I often tell funny stories. The second. Don't, your bus pass or your money. So which one goes to this gap? Let's lose. Don't lose your bus pass or your money. The third, I need to do my homework. So I can't do the washing up. The fourth one, hurry. We don't have to miss the bus or the train. The fifth one, I'm going to have a uh, make lunch. Can you make the sandwiches and the cake? And the sixth one, before I have a party, I have a shower, but I don't have dinner. Let's go to some more exercises. Let's choose which one goes to the sentence, which uh, verb. 
you can see the, the, the verbs in bold, so choose one, starting from the first one. I make or do a cake for my birthday, uh, dad's birthday. I make a cake for my dad's birthday. The second, did you do or make the washing up today? Did you do the washing up today? The third, I didn't make or have a shower this morning. Didn't have a shower this morning. The fourth, I'm sorry, I'm late. I lost or missed the bus. I missed the bus. The fifth one, I'm not hungry. I did or had lunch at school. Had, I had lunch at school. The sixth one, I didn't do or make my homework. I didn't do my homework. The seventh one, I didn't say or tell you a lie. And I said or told you the truth. I didn't tell you a lie. And I told you the truth. The uh, eighth one, Bob's really good at saying or telling stories. Which one would you choose? Telling. So Bob's really good at telling stories. And the last one, I lost or missed my wallet on the train. I lost my wallet on the train. So this is all. And as homework, you're going to work on your workbook page 36, exercise 1, 2 and 5. This is all for today. See you in the next class.